Oh, it's in here. A little shop tour. Been working on this place for two weeks now. Uh, I got all my pallet racking up. And I've uh, got a whole bunch of empty uh, milk crates. And I uh, started stacking them high, baby. Stacking them high. My little uh, Saturn thing. I just can't seem to part with that, and I don't know why. I'll get, it, I'll get it rigged up and working again one of these days. But anyway, a little shop tour. Kind of we're getting all my workbenches set up. Got to get some lighting. Uh, the lighting's in the van in California, so... Yeah, but I'm getting everything off the floor. This little thing seems to work pretty good. It, it maneuvers in between these cars and... Um, yeah, so... It's working out pretty sweet. Yes, sir. Getting all my decor decolations up. I'm making little <laughs> I'm making little funky hooks out of screws for my hubcaps. I just use those for decorations all over, all over the place. I get them cleaned up, but I'm just hanging them, just goofing around. And I got my tool room over here. Finally used utilized most just about all of my pallet racking material. Um, this is my like tool section, all the tools and uh, whatnots are over here. Got room for my cherry picker in here. Engines. Added a few more uh, emblems to my wall there. I got a whole nother tote full. Uh, I got to start gluing. Acquiring and gluing magnets. I've been using silicone, so. And uh, I work on my sink project. This uh, it has been kind of a nuisance because uh, just because the way it's rigged up here, the guy that had it here before uh, used the cheapy pipe, and then my little water closet here burst. Uh, he didn't have it really glued on very well, but he used the cheapest PVC. I got some Schedule 40 there, but anyway, I want to re uh, re corn figure it, figure out what to do with it. Yeah. I, uh, oh yeah, I broke open that wall there. It's my little uh, man cave office arena. I took this part of the wall down because the whole underside of the stair was uh, empty space. It wasn't being used, so I got all my sheet metal in there. The sheet metal I want to keep is all underneath the stairs now. So I'll put the sheet. I'll put the. I'll put the panel back on there. Maybe put a hinge on or something. Turn it into a into a faux door or something so I can get to my, my doors and whatnot. Get my library all set up. My library, my car related junk. Yeah, so uh, let's come over here. I'll show you what I've been doing uh, other than uh, the shop. I got over to my new Hot Wheels spot, <clears throat> Epic Diecast here in Golden Valley. Grand openings this weekend. Picked up some uh, Hot Wheel military rigs. <coughs> it's in these Protecto packs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. But I dug the military stuff. Grabbed, uh, I think, five of them. We have five of them. Come on, man. Get out of there. Big buffa. Big buffa. What else did I get? I want the command tank. And then Mark over there, pretty cool cat, hooked me up with one of them. AP sweet. And uh, of course, I had to give me one of these, which I'm going to wheel swap. And look at this, man. Honda Super Cub. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. And then uh, he found some old uh, Lesneys. It was a super fast. I dug the tanker. He says, hey, man, you want these? I said, yeah, heck yeah. So he, he gave it to me, man. That was pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. You can't pass up any Lesneys. The old pink. Uh, no, I think it was green. Somebody painted it pink. Yeah, it was originally green. 
pretty good shape of it. In fact, that paint's gone off of it. And then uh, another, uh, come on out of there, where is it? Little, I don't know what that was initially. Some kind of crazy, uh, oh, a refrigerator truck. It had the little refrigerator box on the back of it. But now it's a flatbed. Pretty sweet. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. And I picked up a few things at Walmart the other day. Uh, it's kind of slim pickings around here. Even around here in Arizona, it's still slim pickings. A lot of people collect them and stuff around here, I guess. So, but uh, one of these is I'll get the camera over. We'll go to we'll go over to Epic Diecast and go check him out. He gave me the, <coughs> he gave me permission to go in there and snoop around. So, anyway, uh, a little short one today. Uh, I got to get back to work here because uh, you know. Rust never sleeps. Speaking of rust, uh, if you got a bunch of rusty stuff and uh, you want to get it super clean, just go ahead and dip.